Hello, good evening, welcome. Are you currently a member of a state, national, or professional organization? Uh, are you maybe a volunteer in one of these organizations? Well, welcome to Connector Dots. These are brief, candid conversations and insights for healthcare, life, and leadership for connectors and pharmavators. Today, during our Leadership Thursday topic, we're gonna discuss the importance of being a member and actively volunteering with your professional organizations. I'm your host, Kimber Booth. I'm a strategic pharmacy coach and consultant, and I've been a healthcare leader, pharmacist, and entrepreneur, and I help pharmacists strategically advocate for roles and resources to advance pharmacy practice. So this topic of professional organizations was top of mind for me this week, and for two reasons. First is, I did just complete my term as the chair of the Kentucky Society of Health System Pharmacists House of Delegates. Uh, and this has been a bittersweet transition. While it's it's been a wonderful experience and a, an honor and a pleasure to have served um, on a <clears throat> variety of roles and of course on the board in this chair role, I'm excited while I still will stay involved with the state society through committees, I have recently joined in ASHP, American Society of Health System Pharmacists National Committee. And so while a lot of my volunteering up till now has been at the state level, I have been involved and have held leadership roles in the American Pharmacists Association, as well as local and other, many other state um, professional organizations. So I'm excited about this transition to see this will be my first kind of leadership role with ASHP at the national level. So I'm definitely excited to be involved with that. The other reason it was top of my mind is one of my coaching clients did specifically mention uh, that she wanted some help and support uh, on making sure that she is engaging in professional organizations. So that was a good topic as we talk about leadership topics today. So as I mentioned, you know, I have served local, regional, state, and national level, and I've really enjoyed, you know, all of those experiences. Uh, and I really owe a lot of my involvement back to my, the pharmacist who was my community pharmacist when I was growing up. And I just shared this story about how I got into pharmacy last night on the, the Global Pharmacy Entrepreneurs um, podcast recording. And on, on that, I did talk about how this pharmacist was so influential in me choosing pharmacy. And it was so wonderful as I became, you know, got accepted into pharmacy school early on, uh, she took me to some state pharmacy meetings and of course paid my way, introduced me to people. And I've always, um, I have recognized her with that role and use the analogy, and maybe I won't remember it exactly correctly, but when I was recognized by the Kentucky Pharmacists Association with um, a new pharmacist award, I spoke about how she had helped me and how it was, you know, talking about how, it, how would a turtle get up on a, on, a, on a shelf and it's with help. And so she was definitely somebody who helped me and encouraged me. And so one of the key messages that I do want to share with you today is, you know, definitely I want to see you getting involved, but I want to also see you helping others, you know, to get involved, whether it is that early on student pharmacy technician or just a pharmacist who hasn't specifically chosen to engage in professional organizations. I want to encourage you to reach out that hand and get them involved. Now, if you're not involved, well, let's talk about it. How can you get involved? Um, I often do talk about the, my life in four quadrants. So when I think about being involved with professional organizations, for me, it kind of serves two purposes for my, my life. And one is, is it does help with my career. There's definitely networking, there's leadership development, uh, but there's also the community aspect. And I do see that the volunteer work that I do in pharmacy organizations is part of the community efforts that I'm making. That doesn't keep me from still volunteering with my church and some other uh, initiatives like trail organizations. But I do see being my involvement with, with professional organizations as serving those two purposes for me. So the professional organizations, um, we have many in pharmacy, um, 
both, uh, and I do think it's important to be involved again at your state level and at the national level. So I wanna encourage you to do that. Uh, they do so much for us, so much that often goes unrecognized and it's, it's almost hard, impossible for them to summarize everything that they do for us. But they are you know, protecting us and helping to advance our practice. And, and there's so many things that could have been detrimental if it wasn't for our professional um, societies. So how can you be involved? Uh, again, I asked, you know, if you are currently a member or you're currently involved in a leadership role, that's fantastic. And I kind of see involvement with professional organizations kind of in, in three ways. So keeping it fairly basic. So at a minimum, you know, we should be members of our professional societies. There's actually some societies or professions out there that require membership. Uh, I think lawyers, for example, and a few others, I know when I've researched this in the past. So at a minimum, we want to be a member. It's, it's an obligation, I think, that we need to have um, and consider it just part of being a professional. The next is donating, you know, so there's two ways to, you can contribute to our, many of our organizations. One is many times there is a foundation, so a charitable arm of the organization that is advancing pharmacy practice in, in some, some different forms, whether it's student scholarships, leadership, research, um, there is almost all of our organizations have a foundation arm. There's also the PAC, the Political Action Committee. So no time like the present with that topic. It definitely is important to contribute to the PAC groups for our organizations. So they can be out there talking to people, advocating for the role of the pharmacist. And the third way to be involved is the volunteering. And while I'm a big believer in volunteering, you know, for leadership roles, there's a lot of ways to volunteer. And I know here at, in, at KSHP, they talked a lot about micro volunteering opportunities. So little ways that you can get involved. Um, they are out there and people um, in these organizations would be happy to have you, even if you don't have a ton of time to contribute. But I would encourage you to find the time. It is a win-win as you grow your leadership skills in these roles, uh, as well as being contributing and giving back to the organization, their mission, and ultimately improving our, our practice. Because many of these organizations that we are members of, you know, we are the main audience. It is the pharmacists or the pharmacy professionals. Obviously, there are other organizations out there who represent pharmacies or other entities, but most of our pharmacy professional organizations that I'm thinking of are the ones that represent us as people individuals, regardless of where we work. So those are three ways to get involved. So now it's your turn. I want you to take some action and either join, donate, and volunteer for your professional organizations. Now, if you're already volunteering, that's awesome. Congratulations. Uh, I want to challenge you to take it to the next level. Go bigger. This is where you know, we had it as an initiative in Kentucky that we would help support more people to get involved with the national organization. So maybe you are involved with a state organization and now it's a chance to get on the board or you, it is a chance for you to volunteer at the national level and start getting involved, maybe run for offices. So lots of ways to get involved. I just do encourage you to go bigger so thank you for joining me for this conversation on leadership development. You know, join me for future Connector Dots. Tomorrow is Pharmavation Friday, and we're going to actually be exploring the structure and format of my program, Pharmavation, and how it all fit together and how I designed it with input from people like you. So I do invite you to go to my website at kimberbooth.com connect to join my email list. I do share this, um, these recordings in a central portal for my, my community, and I'd love to have you join. And I leave you with be bold, be a connector, advance healthcare and pharmacy practice. Thank you so much, and I look forward to talking to you tomorrow. Bye.